When the Denver Museum of Nature and Science opened the Teen Rex exhibit, their team knew they had something special. They just didn't really know how special. Photojournalist Brian Winland got an update today and tells us they found bones from the tip of a dino's snout to its tail. As a paleontologist, history is at your fingertips. It's so special, like these fossils are 67 million years old and working on it from this side as I'm uncovering these bones, my eyes are the first human eyes to ever see this dinosaur. Having her fingertips on this kind of history. We found this T-Rex tooth and that kind of helped us figure out that this was actually a T-Rex. Was Alex Polich's childhood dream. Here we have the femur. Now she's chipping away at dinosaur fossils. And this is actually the foot of the T-Rex, the left foot. From a teenage T-Rex. We have our, our diagram on the back wall here has everything colored in that we've been able to identify so far. She and her colleagues have been working on this since the summer. When they realized what they had, they knew it was special. Having this be a juvenile T-Rex, um, that's a, a really rare specimen to have. I think there's maybe five or six other juvenile Tyrannosaurus Rex in the world. Alex's workspace is smack dab in the middle of an exhibit featuring other fossils from when Teen Rex was alive. So you can think of all these things as being the animals that lived alongside T-Rex when it was walking around in the Badlands of North Dakota about 67 million years ago. But the tiny tyrant is the star of the show. Anybody that's coming to visit the Teen Rex exhibit can talk with our staff preparators, talk with our interns, and learn about the different tools and techniques that they're using to clean the fossil. Natalie Toth, the museum's chief fossil preparator, says working on Teen Rex in such a public way is important to get kids into science. They're able to, to look in while I'm doing fossil preparation, and I also will open the windows and talk to them, answer questions. Moments like those made Alex want to do this. I was also them. I was that little kid who came to this to this museum and was upstairs looking through the windows watching people prepare fossils. Now, she wants to spark a passion for paleontology in someone else. I just kind of look at those kids and see myself and can share in the excitement. Brian Wendland, Nine News. Wow. The Teen Rex exhibit is uh, open to the public whenever the museum is open, and they've even got a documentary showing at the IMAX theater telling the complete story of how the three kids found these fossils and what it was like for the Teen Rex 67 million years ago. That